Caputo is promising to continue to push for new gun laws, even after a judge said that the laws the city recently passed cannot be enforced. Amy Wattis is live to explain what the city plans to do next. Amy. Well, Mayor Bill Peduto says he is prepared to appeal the judge's ruling and will take this case all the way to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court if he has to. With his gun legislation being shot down, Mayor Bill Peduto can't help but think of the family members who lost loved ones in the Tree of Life synagogue shooting. It's been a pretty tough couple of weeks, and, um, you know, I, I just want to make sure the families know that we're not uh, stopping. The ordinances would have restricted military-style assault weapons like the AR-15 rifle used in the Tree of Life synagogue shooting last October. The legislation also banned most uses of armor-piercing ammunition and high-capacity magazines. It also allowed the temporary seizure of guns from people who were determined to be a danger to themselves or others. The court struck down the ordinances. What this is about is whether or not cities have the ability to create legislation to protect their citizens or whether the state can put preemption laws that don't that wouldn't allow cities to fully do so. Pennsylvania state law forbids municipalities from regulating guns. Attorney Joshua Prince is representing the firearms industry consulting group. They knew that these ordinances were unlawful and passed them anyway. Therefore, city council members are not some special class of it has nothing to do with the U.S. Constitution or the Second Amendment. Uh, there are no challenges uh, from any of the gun groups on the constitutionality of these laws, nor are there any questions about the Second Amendment. Now, the mayor says he has no idea how long this appeals process is going to take. Coming up at 6, the mayor discusses how other states have passed similar laws. And we also will have more uh, from some citizens and what they're saying about all of this on social media. Reporting live downtown, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.